Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for March 29th, 2022. So guys, I want to apologize. This video will be just a little bit later than normal. I recorded the video once and had a sound problem on it. So I am recording it for the second time, which will make it just a little bit later than normal. I'm sorry about that. But with that being said, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, as I suspected, um, we continue to get that window dressing. Yesterday, we had quite a little bit of volatility with the markets pushing down. The Dow was, at one point was down 300 points, but they responded all the way back up. And then just that last two minutes of surge pushed us to uh, pushed all four indexes into a bullish close um, in the market, just barely squeaking the Russell up um, into some bullish territory. So this morning we're trying to gap higher and break through this little resistance in the chart. Again, that window dressing seems to be pretty strong this quarter and we continue to defy all of the bad news out there economically. We had another record um, trade deficit and we are completely ignoring the five and ten year bond inversion at the moment. So how much longer can we continue to do this? I don't know, but I suspect we'll be that way for the next couple of days at least as we continue this window dressing process and albeit on very extremely low volume in the market. So taking a look at this, as you can see, we've got quite a little bit of um, upside move here, breaking that downtrend. We've got these resistance levels above that we'll wanna be keeping a close eye on as we try to break through. We also wanna watch for that possibility that we could see a pop and drop today because we do have some market moving data um, later on this morning. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY, also pushing higher, continuing to extend the big movers in the market yesterday were the big techs. As a matter of fact, it was the predominant uh, uh, move yesterday was those tech giants as they continue to extend and really pushing into higher levels of resistance in the chart. So we'll want to watch that closely. Clearly we're breaking through resistance levels. We're holding support levels. Watch this resistance up here this morning. Could there be a pop and drop on the economic data that's coming later today or can we push on through? I'm going to, I think it's about a 50 50 chance um, that the window dressing is going to overpower and we're going to choose to ignore anything in that economic data that may um, appear to be negative. So watch that closely. And then if we take a look at the QQQ, same thing where the Qs are just pressing, pressing, pressing. And it is the big tech giants that seem to be getting the most attention um, in the market, pushing into these significant levels of price resistance in the chart. So once again, we have some price support levels in here to watch for. And as we press these levels and continue to um, extend and I think overextend these um, indexes, we want to be watching for that potential reversal. I want to caution everyone to be really careful not to over trade and to be thinking that um, um, this can never pull back again because I suspect it will and I suspect when it does it will be painful. So watch carefully for that. But you certainly have to give this up to the bulls. They are fighting hard and albeit extremely low volume as we continue to extend to the upside. And then if we look at that Russell, Russell had a little bit more trouble yesterday, but it ended up closing just barely in the green. And we are pushing back up to test this year long worth of resistance in that chart. Now, I still have my suspicions that the Russell will be able to break through that big level, but you never know. This window dressing um, has been pretty powerful. And right now we have an amazing capacity to ignore the economic um, indicators out there that suggest recession 
could be just around the corner. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX pushed up yesterday, as you can see, when we were down 300 points, we were heading higher and then they completely reversed it. Now what that did is it pushed us down to that 20 handle area and we actually pushed down through this little level of price support in the last two minutes of the day um, as we surged um, back up. So let's watch this in here. This could serve as that possible place where we get that pop and drop in the overall markets and we see um, that possible bounce off of that area. Now I can't say that's going to be the case, but let's watch carefully for that. I do think it's um, remarkable that um, all of these all of these bad numbers out there just don't seem to matter. So watch that closely. It makes me very suspicious of this market and I would be really watching for that potential reversal to occur at any time. So make sure you're thinking about how you can protect yourself if that does happen. Let's take a look at our T2122. And our T2122, um, push down here toward that 60% area in the chart um, and with that selling yesterday and then we pushed all the way back up this morning with the gap up open I suspect we're going to gap up and we're going to be right back up here in that bearish reversal zone and as I mentioned we've so shown that um, ability that we can hold up here for a period of time before and I suggested that possibility may occur because of end of quarter window dressing it looks like that is going to play out here today but as we gap up here this morning let's be watchful and careful that gap up here could certainly create that pop and drop and we could see that reversal in the market so don't chase with the fear of missing out when we are uh, we are so extended in these indexes watch that closely our T2108 showed a, um, a not quite an improvement yesterday, um, but certainly um, improved a lot off of the low of the day. Pushed up here and we didn't quite break out here, but certainly a bullish situation for T2108 but we still haven't been able to break that downtrend. Same thing is true in T2107. We had a, um, a good day. We actually pushed on higher T2107, 37, almost 38% of the stocks pushing back above their 200 day moving average, but we still haven't been able to break through that resistance in the chart of that downtrend, but we're right there testing it. And this is the place where, we're, where we would wanna be watching for that potential reversal. So keep a close eye on that. And then if we take a look at our T2101, I really don't think it's telling us much because volume continues to be extremely light. And what we're seeing is the dark pool activity being consolidated, consolidated to the market is creating that very strong end of day surge but volume remains very very low so be really careful if they decide to do a you know a classic rug pull out from under uh, the market it could be pretty sharp and steep with volumes being so low so watch that close let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar we have a couple things here that we're going to want to be paying attention to um, we've got case shiller numbers coming out here this morning at at 9 a.m. Eastern. We've got consumer confidence, which may be the bigger mover here, which is interesting too that the consensus estimate is actually expecting this to move higher, that the confidence will move higher. And I got to tell you, with consumer um, sentiment numbers being so low, that seems to be a little bit of a stretch to me, but you never know. So watch that closely. That could be a market mover today. And then of course the job openings report and they're looking at that coming in really, really strong still with a lot of open jobs here in the market. Keep in mind, we have three Fed speakers that will be out there yakking their jaw uh, today. And we have a seven year note auction. And as we continue pressing toward this yield inversion, we're going to want, want to keep a close eye on those. As you plan forward, remember tomorrow morning before the market opens, we've got ADP 
and we've got a GDP number that could really be a market mover. So think about that as you're preparing uh, for the next day. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have somewhere around 50 to 60 companies um, in that earnings calendar. Um, quite a few of those are unconfirmed reports. Now I'm not gonna spend a lot of time with this this morning and it's just because I'm behind and I wanna get this video out as quickly as possible for you guys. So make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to get the morning blog. Really quickly, a couple notables we'll want to be paying attention to. Lulu, we've got MU on that list that will be reporting today um, as a one of the bigger notables. Um, MKC is on that list for a notable restoration hardware um, will also be on that list today. And then there's a lot of very, very small caps in there not so notable. Um, CHWI, Chewy will be um, kind of uh, a notable here this morning to be paying attention to as well. Let's take a quick look at some stocks that could be setting up. But remember, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube, click that bell icon. So when it pop when I set, post another video you'll get a notification and you'll be able to catch that right away also please continue to click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and thank you so much for everyone who does do that and for those folks that continue to support the channel through buying me a coffee you guys are truly awesome I really really appreciate it watch for another live um, live event coming up here soon let's take a a look at um, some stock setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security uh, make sure you understand carefully your risk tolerance make sure they fit your plan never ever blindly follow someone else's trade ideas so with that guys talking really fast here because I'm trying to do a shorter video let's take a look at a couple of these um, CRM as you guys know I, I mentioned this one yesterday CRM it had a, quite a little bit of volatility in it yesterday popping up. This is one that I placed a price alert on. It looks like it's gapping up and popping, pulling back here in the pre-market. But watch that carefully. This is a nice little pattern in what we call a rounded bottom breakout and tends to be a very profitable pattern for us in hit run candlesticks and right way options. So watch that chart patterns looking pretty good. I'm going to continue to mention PayPal. PayPal continues in that same kind of pattern, very tight consolidation in here, watching for that next potential move. But please keep in mind, it may continue to consolidate over here toward that trend. Watch that closely. I'm going to continue to mention things like steel. Oh my goodness, this steel stock, um, US Steel has been very strong and although we're starting to get that resting pullback here, if we can hold this trend in here, this is the next potential setup that could be coming in US Steel. Now these are very extended, but I have to say with the current situation and inflation, I would suspect them to, to uh, continue to move higher. The same thing with energies. When we look at energies, we had a little bit of pullback on those charts and we're getting these these little resting patterns in energies. Let's watch those closely for those potentials that they could move on higher um, here in these charts soon. So watch some of those energy stocks. I'm going to have to continue to mention also those commodities out there um, or those um, stocks related to food. Um, agriculture, those kind of things. Take a look at CF. Now CF is finally pulling back here in the chart. Watch this price support. This has been a very, very strong upside trend here. Watch for that area right in here to see if we can find those buyers again to push back up. It is possible that this may need more consolidation or rest before it gets going again but I kind of suspect we're going to continue to see those prices escalate um, as farmers and ranchers uh, continue to be pressed for higher and higher prices in those fertilizer costs. Take a look at Archer Daniels, same kind of thing. Take a look at uh, Mosaic, whoops, 
Same kind of thing as those fertilizer prices and costs continue to rise very rapidly. So watch these pullbacks for that next opportunity for an upside move in those charts. Continue to take a look. And now that I have a bias here, I'm still holding plug power. Um, take a look at those alternative energy stocks like Plug Plat Power. Um, take a look at TAN, which is a solar ETF that is also setting up here. Looking very, very good. Keep a close eye on those. A lot of these um, alternative energy stocks are looking very, very strong. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I apologize for the fast talking and the quicker video, but I want to get this out as quickly as possible. I wish you guys the very, very best. I wish you great success in your trading today. And let's be a little bit careful as we continue to extend um, these indexes higher on such low volume. Um, have a great day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early. Awesome.